fun and games day at the Fun Song Factory. It's a Fun Song Factory. This is the way we fun You can join in with all your favourite songs and play your favourite games. With Ozzy Octave, Postman Pat, Super Ted and Bum. And Bingo was his name. Everybody do. You'll want every day to be Fun and Games Day. Everybody do this just like me. Your turn, Fun and Games. The brilliant new video from the Fun Song Factory. Time to visit the Fun Song Factory! Songs to sing along with Some good things to do Just ask the Fun Song Factory To play each one for you Fun Song, Fun Song, Fun Song Factory There's nowhere else quite like it It's the Fun Song Factory Fun Song, Fun Song Fun Song Factory There's nowhere else quite like it It's the Fun Song Factory Yeah! Hello everyone! Look who's working in the Fun Song Factory today! It's Georgie and Zizi! Hello! Oh, look, what's this? A kettle. It looks as if the factory has started already. Come on, you know this one. Polly put, put the kettle on. on. Polly put the kettle on. Polly put the kettle on. We'll all have tea. Suki, take it off again. Suki, take it off again. Suki, take it off again. They've all gone away. Dale and Vanessa! Hello! Look what the factory's given us! Holly do the washing up! Holly do the washing up! Holly do the washing up! We need, need to clean the cups! It's Rachel and Hannah! Hello! Oh look! Tea towels! Oh, the factory's working well now! Suki do the drying up! Suki do the drying up, Suki do the drying up, we'll all have tea. And now you've got the mops. Are you all joining in? Polly wash the kitchen floor, Polly wash the kitchen floor, Polly wash the kitchen floor, we'll all have tea. Oh, you've missed a bit. Suki wash the bits you missed. Suki, wash the bits you missed. Suki, wash the bits you missed. We'll all have tea. Oh, it must be time for tea now. Come on, everyone join in. Holly put the kettle on. Holly put the kettle on. Holly put the kettle on. We'll all have tea. Suki, take it off again. Suki, take it off again. Suki, take it off again. Done, everyone. We'll have that tea now. Did someone mention tea? It's Ian. <laughs> Hello, everybody. <laughs> Hello, Ian. <laughs> Did you mention tea, Ozzy? Yes, Ian. We were just about to have a cup. Ooh. But I don't think the factory's going to let us. Oh. Listen, Ian. It's your song. My song? Yes, it's old man. <laughs> <laughs> You know this one, don't 
you're this old man. Come on, join in with me. Are you ready? This old man, he played one. He played knick-knack on my drum with a knick-knack. Paddy White, give the dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. Right, number two this time, on my shoe. <laughs> This old man, he played two, he played knick-knack on my shoe with a knick-knack. Paddy Whack, give the dog a bone, this old man came rolling home. Number three this time, ah yes, on my knee. This old man, he played three, he played knick-knack on my knee with a knick-knack. Paddy Whack, give the dog a bone, this old man came rolling home. Number four, ah, um, on my door. This old man, he played four, he played knick-knack on my door with a knick-knack. Paddy White, give the dog a bone, this old man came rolling home. Right, number five, what can that be? Oh yes, on my hive. This old man, he played five, he played knick-knack on my hive with a knick-knack. Paddy White, give the dog a bone, this old man came rolling home. Right, ready for six? Six is on my sticks. This old man, he played six, he played knick-knack on my sticks with a knick-knack. Paddy White, give the dog a bone, this old man came rolling home. What about me? Charming Dale! This old man, he played seven, he played knick-knack up to heaven with a knick-knack. Paddy White, give the dog a bone, this old man came rolling home. Number eight this time, Ozzy! Hello, Ian! On my gate! This old man, he played eight, he played knick-knack on my gate with a knick-knack. Paddy Whack, give the dog a bone, this old man came rolling home. Number nine, on my line. This old man, he played nine, he played knick-knack on my line with a knick-knack. Paddy Whack, give the dog a bone, this old man came rolling home. And number ten, everybody, on my hen. This old man, he played ten, he played knick-knack on my hen with a knick-knack. Paddy Whack, give the dog a bone, this old man came rolling home. Woo! We made it to number ten! Give yourself a clap! Woo! Oh, I think, I think we need that cup of tea now. Did somebody mention tea? It's Sarah! Hello! Hello, Sarah! Hello, Ian! Hello, Ozzy! Hello, Sarah! Hi, did you say tea? Did you? Yes, I thought you did. I've got a delicious pie here. It'd be perfect with a cup oh, of tea. Oh, yes, isn't it? Risen, right? Oh, you've started the factory off again, Sarah. Oh, Hang on, it's Sing a Song of Sixpence. I bet you know this one. Sing it with us. Here we go. Sing a song of sixpence, a pocket full of rye. Four and twenty blackbirds baked in a pie. When the pie was open, the birds began to sing. Wasn't that a dainty dish to set before the king? I'm the king counting his money. The king was in his counting house, counting out his money. The queen was in the parlour, eating bread and honey. The maid was in the garden, hanging out her clothes. Easy. <laughs> what would I do without my nose? Ah, you wouldn't be able to smell, would you, Ian? No, but no. I don't smell, do I? What? Oh, yes, you do. Oh, no, I don't. Oh, yes, you do. Oh, no. Wait a minute. Who is that? It is me! There was an old man called Michael Finnegan He grew whiskers on his chin again The wind came up and blew the men again Poor old Michael Finnegan began again There was an old man called Michael Finnegan He grew whiskers on his chin again The wind came up and blew the men again Poor old Michael Finnegan began again 
This break. There was an old man called Michael Finnegan. He grew whiskers on his chin again. The wind came up and blew them in again. Poor old Michael Finnegan. Begin again. There was an old man called Michael Finnegan. He grew whiskers on his chin again. The wind came up and blew them in again. Poor old Michael Finnegan. Begin again. Enough, everybody. Enough. Give yourselves a round of applause. <laughs> Have you noticed all of our songs so far have been nursery rhymes? Well, maybe that's what the factory wants us to do today. Nursery rhymes. Oh, now I know a rhyme. <laughs> it's a bit what are you doing <laughs> behind there? Oh, it's for me rhyme. What is? Well, if you come closer, Sarah, I can show you. Oh, I'm not sure about this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, if you come Ooh. a bit closer, a bit closer. A bit closer. Right, you ready? Yes. Oh, good. So am I. Here we go. Georgie Porgy, pudding and pie, kissed the girls and made them cry. <laughs> but when the boys came out to play, Georgie Porgy ran away. <laughs> well, he's not stupid, is he? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hey. Who's that? Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> yeah. Who are you? I'm, uh, get, uh, well, the thing is, um, I don't know. <laughs> you don't know? No. Wait a minute, you don't know who you are? No. <laughs> That's strange. <laughs> well, well, the thing is, um, I've forgotten. You see, I, I think I come from a nursery rhyme, but I don't know which one. You mean, you don't know which nursery rhyme you come from? <laughs> no! So that's why we're singing nursery rhymes. The factory wants us to find out which rhyme you're in. Oh! And look, 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 just take a look at him. And look at the strange things. He's got two odd boots yeah. on. He's got an umbrella and two hats. He's got, he's got a telescope. A uh, An apron. Yeah. And a splendid moustache. Yes! It, it, <laughs> these must be clues. Yeah. yeah. And he's got a tray as well. Hey. Hang on. What? I know, you're the pie man from, from Simple Simon, aren't you? I don't know. I oh. think you are. Oh, Where let's sing it and see if you're right. Let's right. do that. Simple Simon met a pie man going to the fair. Said Simple Simon to the pie man, let me taste your wear. Said the pie man, Simple Simon, show me first your penny. Said Simple Simon to the pie man, sir, I have not any. There, are you the pie man? Uh, maybe, yes, yes. Of course he is. You be the pie man, I'll be Simple Simon, all right? right. Simple Simon met a pie man going to the fair. Said Simple Simon to the pie man, let me taste your wear. Said the pie man, Simple Simon, show me first your penny. Simple Simon to the pieman, sir. I have not any. Oh, no pies for you then, pal. <laughs> Are you the pieman? Uh, no, I don't think so. Uh, you're definitely not the pieman. No. Let's have a look for another clue. Right. Um, oh, I don't know. Oh, and he's a man. So it must be a nursery rhyme about a man or a boy. A man or a boy. Well, that's not much to go on, is it? I don't know, Dave. I mean, we know lots of rhymes about men and boys, don't oh, we? Oh, the factory's thought of one already. Try this one. It's Little Jack Horner. <laughs> Little Jack Horner sat in the corner eating his Christmas pie. He put in his thumb and pulled out a plum and said, what a good boy am I. <laughs> yeah, do you know that one, Little Jack Horner? Will you sing it along with us this time? You be Little Jack Horner. I'll be Little Jack Horner. I'll give it a go. Right. Yeah. Sit in the corner. Little Jack Horner sat in a corner eating his Christmas pie. He put in his thumb and pulled out a plum and said, What a good boy am I? Hey, there we are. There, you're Little Jack Horner, aren't you? No, no. I don't think I sit in a corner, you see. Uh, uh, well, I wonder who you could be. Oh, I know! Jack Spratt! Jack Spratt! <laughs> but I always eat the best of food! Yeah, but then again, so did Jack Spratt! He liked the best of food too! Let me tell you all about it! Yeah! Jack Spratt could eat no fat! His wife could eat no lean! So between 
them both, you see, they he licked the, the platter, platter clean. <laughs> go on, you have a go, you have a go. What, oh, see, just like you? Yeah, see, just like me. All right. <laughs> Check, spec, good eat, no fat. And his wife could eat no lean. And so please treat them both, you see, they, they licked, licked the, the platter, platter clean. <laughs> <laughs> no, yes. no, no, I mean, no, 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 look, I, I know you're trying, but uh, no, no. No. I, I do eat very well, but uh, I also do lots of exercise. <laughs> oh, the factory's really trying. How about this? What's that? It's a candlestick. Oh, I know what this is for. It's for Jack Be Nimble. Excuse me. Oh. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Jack Be Nimble. Jack Be Quick. Jack jump over the candlestick. Okay, candlestick. Here I come. I'm gonna jump. Ready? Ah. Oh. <laughs> Try again, Dave. Try again, Dave. All right then. Here we go then. Jack Be Nimble. Jack Be Quick. Jack jump over the candlestick. Okay. Okay, candlestick. Here I come. I'm gonna jump. Well, all of those nursery rhymes are about men and boys, but none of them were me. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, but I do know another rhyme about a boy. Yes, he did a very strange thing. I'll tell you about it. Right. Thank you. <laughs> now, he was called Peter. And this is what he did. Let me tell you. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled pepper. A peck of pickled pepper Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled pepper, where's the peck of pickled pepper Peter Piper picked? Could you say that, do you think? Yeah! yeah. It's, just a, it's just a lot of puzz. All right, let's try it. Let's try it very slow. Ready? Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled pepper. A peck of pickled pepper Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled pepper, where's the peck of pickled pepper Peter Piper picked? I think we should do it one more time, this time a little bit faster. Ready, everybody? Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled pepper. A peck of pickled pepper Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled pepper, where's the peck of pickled pepper Peter Piper picked? Oh, that was very tricky. That's called a tongue twister, isn't it? A tongue twister. Called a tongue twister. I've got one as well, which has got lots of S's in it. I wonder if you can say it S. Here we go. She sells seashells on the seashore. You can say that, can't you? Try it a little bit faster. Here we go. She sells seashells on the seashore. And faster. She sells seashells on the seashore. And even faster. She sells seashells on the seashore. Brilliant. Give yourselves a big hand. That was wonderful. So, are you Peter Piper? <laughs> Sorry. No, no, no. Pepper makes me sneeze. <laughs> I know. Maybe the rhyme isn't about you. Maybe you just appear in it. Hey, now that's a good idea. Yeah. Oh, I know this one. Do you? It's Mary had a little lamb. But is there a man in this, Dave? Yes, there is, and there's also a Mary. Can we have Mary, please? Oh, here she is. And also, we need a little lamb. Where's the little lamb? <laughs> I want you to be Mary. <laughs> oh, yeah. Get ready. Mary had a little lamb. His fleece was white as snug. And everywhere the Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. That's it, go on, follow it. Don't be sheepish. Ah! It followed her to school one day, which was against the rule. It made the children laugh and play to see a lamb at school. And so the teacher turned it out, but still it lingered near. And it waited patiently till Mary did appear. Why does the lamb love Mary so? He <laughs> can just a cry. <laughs> Why Mary loves the lamb, you know. 
that teacher did reply. Oh, I think that was absolutely marvellous. Give him a round of applause. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. That was uh, that was great. That was wonderful. But um, I'm not a teacher. Oh dear, we seem to be running out of ideas. I think. Oh, this time it's a rhyme about a boy and a girl. Yes, it is. <laughs> Do you know this one? Sing along as Jack and Jill. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke yeah. his crown and Ooh. Jill came tumbling after. Oh, oh no! Oh, yes! Oh, right. oh, I think so. Then up Jack got and home did trot as fast as he could caper. He went to bed to mend oh. his head oh. with vinegar oh. and brown paper. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not Jack. I don't want to fall and hurt my head and then mend it with vinegar and brown paper. <laughs> no? No. Oh, oh, well. Don't worry. i tell you what we'll do. We'll have a walk round the factory and see if you can see anything that reminds you of perhaps who you are. Oh, that's yes. a good idea. There's <laughs> lots of other places to look. Shall we walk this way? I wonder what nursery rhyme he can be from. Well, it's nothing that we've thought of so far. Mm. No. He's not Jack Spratt or Jack and Jill. The teacher, the pieman. Little Jack Corner. Jack Be Nimble or oh, Peter, Peter Piper. Piper. Maybe he will get an idea somewhere else in the factory. Yeah. Hang on, who is it who's always on the cover of nursery rhyme books? What do you mean, Sarah? Well, you know, there's always the same character on the front of the books. I think it's a little old lady. I tell you what, Ozzy, have you got a nursery rhyme book in the factory? Oh, I'm sure we have. Well, let's go and find it. Come on. <laughs> hey, we think we know what rhyme you're from. Oh, really? <laughs> yes, we were just talking about it, weren't we, Chikos? Uh, <laughs> yes. 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 We well, you think you're either the butcher, the baker, or the candlestick maker? Yes, absolutely. Rub a dub 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 dub. Here we go. <laughs> you join in this one if you know. Rub a dub dub. Rub a dub dub. Three men in a tub. And who do you think they'll be? The butcher. Rub a dub dub. The baker. Rub a dub dub. The candlestick. Rub a dub dub. Turn them out, names all three. <laughs> Turn them out of the tub. Yes. But won't they all get very wet? Oh, yes. Then, yes. Oh, well, I'm not sure about that. I, I, I don't think I want that. Oh, well, we'll try it again. Oh. You, you, you might change your mind. Well, okay, then. <laughs> Ready? Rubber dub dub, three men in the tub. And who do you think they'd be? The butcher. Rubber dub dub. The baker. Rubber dub dub. Yeah. Turn them out of the tub. Into the water, yeah. Yes, but they'll get wet. Yeah. I don't want to get wet. No. <laughs> no. Uh, no. I'm sorry, but uh, I don't think I'm either a butcher, a baker, or a candlestick maker. No. Really? No, no. Oh, dear. Well, that means we're no further forward finding out what rhyme you're from. <sighs> oh, well, yeah. never mind. Thanks very much for trying, Paint Pots. Yes, yeah, thank you. Thank you. We'll see you again soon. All right, bye. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Oh. Yeah. bye. Hope you find out who you are. This is it! This is it! Look on the front of this nursery rhyme book. It's Mother Goose. Yeah, but how does that help us, Ozzy? Well, if I ask the factory for a little bit of magic to bring her here, she might be able to help us. Oh, that's a great idea, Ozzy. It's worth a try. She might know which of her nursery rhymes the man comes from. Right. Factory! We need your help. Can you ask Mother Goose to pop in and see us? Ooh. Oh, my goodness me. Oh, it's Mother Goose. <laughs> Correct, young man. It is I. Oh, should it be me? Well, I'm here anyway. Thank you for coming so quickly. Oh, you're very welcome. Where am I? 
Well, you're in the Fun Song Factory and, uh, well, I'm Dave. And, and this, this is, is Ozzy <laughs> and these are all our friends. How lovely. But why did you bring Priscilla and me here? We need your help, Mother Goose. We met someone today who is from one of your nursery rhymes. Mm -hmm. And he seems to be a bit lost and confused. Lost and confused, I see. Who is? Oh, oh, this man. What man? He'll be back in a moment. Ah, uh, well, I hope he won't be long, you see, because I've got to do some shopping for Mother Hubbard. She's not been able to get out recently since she had Here the operation. Here he is. Oh, yes, I see what you mean. Have you tried Humpty Dumpty? <laughs> no, the other one. It's me. Oh, I do beg your pardon. <laughs> oh, yes, let's see, Priscilla. What do we think? Oh, yes. Ah, uh, well, what do you think, Priscilla? Ah, uh, yes. Priscilla says that we should try thinking of rhymes with animals and birds in them. And that we should begin with... Goosey Goosey Gander. We never thought of that one. Yeah, and we've got a goose right here. Hello, Priscilla. What's going on? Goosey Goosey Gander, whither shall I wander? Upstairs and downstairs and in my lady's chamber There I met an old man who would not say his prayers So I took him by the left leg and threw oh, him down oh, the no. Who's there? Oh, poor old Ian! Here, let's do it again! <laughs> goosey, goosey gander, whither shall I wander? Upstairs and downstairs and in my lady's chamber There I met an old man who would not say his prayers So I took him by the left leg and threw him down the stairs No, 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 no I don't want to be thrown down the stairs Oh, are you uh, quite sure, young man? I'm quite sure, thank oh, you Oh, well, <laughs> very well, we shall have to think of something else, Priscilla and I know just the thing. A crooked walking stick. Oh, I wonder what rhyme that's for. Yes, I shall be needing a cat for this one too, please, Factory. Uh, do you think I could get rid of the beard now? Oh, no, 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 dear. We want you to be an old man in this one too. Now, if you'd like to head oh. straight to the packing department, please, Ian. <laughs> now, we're all ready. Thank you, Factory. So the poor doggy had none. Woof, woof. Oh, hello there. I'm Sally Cat from the Fun Song Factory, and it's my turn to pack up the songs. Hello, Sally. Hello, Ian. Good beard. Uh, thank you, Sally. <clears throat> well, actually, we were wondering if you'd do us a really big favour. Really? Yeah. Well, see, we want to do There Was a Crooked Man. What? That, that rhyme, yeah. And we wondered if you'd be the crooked cat. Oh, yes, I know that one. And guess what? What? I happen to have my own little crooked mouse. Oh. Will! Will! Oh, hello, this Will! This is Will! <laughs> right then, let's get going. <laughs> Are you joining with us? There was a crooked man, and I'm the old man. <laughs> ready? There, there was, was a crooked, crooked man who walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence upon a crooked stile. He bought a crooked cat who caught a crooked mouse. And they all lived together in a little crooked house. <laughs> that was good, wasn't it? I think we should do it one more time. You ready? Very good. Join in. There was a crooked man who walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence upon a crooked stile. He bought a crooked cat who caught a crooked mouse. And they all lived together in a little crooked house. Ha! That was lovely. Mm. <laughs> Thanks very much, Sally. Oh. Uh, thank you, Will. Oh, no problem. Any time. Right, back to work now. Bye. Oh, all right, then. Bye, bye, bye Sally. Bye, Will. Bye. I don't really think you're the crooked little man, are you? <laughs> no, no, I'm not. Definitely not. Uh, Never mind, dear, because there are many, many more. Uh, unfortunately, I have to leave you now because I must finish my shopping, but I shall leave you in the very capable hands, or should I say paws, <laughs> of a great friend of mine. Come, Priscilla. Goodbye, all. Bye-bye. Oh, bye. 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 Bye, Priscilla. <laughs> hmm. Who can she mean? Yeah. Hey, the beard's gone.
gone! The beard's gone! The beard's gone! Oh. Uh, oh, where's Mother Goose gone? Shopping! Oh. Did you find a nursery rhyme book then? Yes, we did. And it was Mother Goose on the front. Oh. And we have a very special friend of hers coming to help us. Oh, when's this super duper friend of hers arriving? Now! It's Super Ted! Super Ted! Super Ted! Anything to help this man get back to his nursery rhyme? Yeah. What? You? Oh, I know this one. It's called Teddy Bear, Teddy Bear. There's lots of actions in this one. So if I were you, get down and do it with the crew. Yeah. Teddy Bear, Teddy Bear, touch your nose. Teddy Bear, Teddy Bear, touch your toes. Teddy Bear, Teddy Bear, touch the ground. Teddy Bear, Teddy Bear, touch the ground. Teddy bear, teddy bear, climb the stairs. Teddy bear, teddy bear, say your prayers. Teddy bear, teddy bear, turn out the lights. Teddy bear, teddy bear, say good night. Hey, do you not want to do that again? Yeah! Right, cause here we go, here we go, here we go, yeah! Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch, touch your toes. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch, touch your toes. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch the ground. Teddy bear, teddy bear, turn around. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch your toes. Climb the stairs. Teddy bear, teddy bear, say your prayers. Teddy bear, teddy bear, turn out the lights. Teddy bear, teddy bear, say good night. That's it, yeah, give yourself a big round of applause. But Super Ted, there's only one teddy bear in that rhyme and, and nobody else. We're looking for a rhyme with this gentleman in it. I think Super Ted wants us to search the factory and see if we can find any clues. Oh, yeah, great oh, idea. Right, yeah. Let's sing as we what look around. The bear went over the mountain. The bear went over the mountain. The bear went over the mountain. To see what he could see. And all that he could see. And all that he could see was the other side of the mountain, the other side of the mountain, the other side of the mountain, was all that he could see. Anyone found anything? Wow. Keep looking. The bear went round the factory, the bear went round the factory, the bear went round the factory, to see what he could see, and all that he could see. And all that he could see was another part of the factory, another part of the factory, another part of the factory was all that he could see. Hello, Dave. Oh, oh hello there, Fred. Oh, this is Fred. Fred, this is, um... Hello. Well, actually, we don't know what his name is. Yeah. So I heard. But I've had an idea about who you are. Oh, really? That's right. Ah. I'm sure you're Tommy Thumb. Tommy Thumb? Now, will you all sing it with me? Tommy Thumb, Tommy Thumb, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do? I'll do the next one, Fred. Peter Pointer, Peter Pointer, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do? Uh, shall I do one? Yeah. Here we go then. Toby Tall, Toby Tall, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do? Oh, I'll do another one. All right. Get ready. Ruby Ring, Ruby Ring, where are you? Oh, here I am, here I am, how do you do? Just Baby Small now. Baby Small, Baby Small, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do? <laughs> Right, just fingers all left. Are you ready? Fingers all, fingers all, where are you? Here we are, here we are, how do you do? <laughs> oh, that's lovely. But I don't think I'm any of those because um, they're all a bit small to be me. Mm, well, yeah. never mind. We'll find you your rhyme. Mind you, thanks a lot, Fred. That's OK, bye. <laughs> bye. Bye, Mr Fred. See you later, Fred. <sighs> this way? 
Anybody found anything yet? No! Oh, well. Uh... Oh, what have you found, Super Ted? A bowler hat. A bowler hat? Oh, it must be a clue to another nursery rhyme. Ah. Right, well... Thank you, Super Ted. Yep. Thanks. See you again soon, I hope. Bye, Bye Super Ted. Bye, 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 Super Ted. Bye, Bye, Bye. Bye Super Ted. <laughs> that was a nice Ted. one to fly in. But I don't know any nursery rhymes with bowler hats. Neither do I. I do. <laughs> you do. I know a rhyme with a bowler hat, and it's called Two Fat Gentlemen. <laughs> Any, right, let's see your Two Fat Gentlemen, everybody. This is a finger rhyme. Right, everybody ready to say it along with me? Two fat gentlemen met in a lane, bowed most politely and bowed once again. How do you do? How do you do? And how do you do again? Mm. Hello. Two thin ladies met in a lane, bowed most politely and bowed once again. How do you do? And how do you do? And how do you do again? Two tall policemen met in a lane, bowed most politely, bowed once again. How do you do? How do you do? How do you do again? Well, hey, 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 there, there. Ah, right, two little schoolboys met in a lane, bowed most politely, bowed once again. How do you do? How do you do? How do you do again? Right. <laughs> I wanted to be the policeman, but I'm the baby. You got to do the baby one with me? Yes. Two little babies met in a lane, bowed most politely, bowed once again. How do you do? How do you do? And how do you do again? Go, 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 go. Hey, Ian. Yes? Lovely bonnet. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. So, uh, are you the two fat gentlemen, then? Oh, no, 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 no. A tall policeman? Uh, no. Little schoolboy? No. The babies? No. Well, you must be something. What's it's that? the factory again, Sarah. Oh, sounded like it was coming from this big bass drum over here. Let's have a look, see what's in here. Right. Ooh. It's empty. Oh, oh, I know. Uh, um, and when she got there, the cupboard was bare. Yeah. Oh. oh, you've started the factory off again. It's old Mother Hubbard. Old Mother Hubbard, she went to the cupboard to fetch her bulldog a bone. When she got there, the cupboard was bare. And so the bulldog came and oh. Dear Fido, I'm ever so sorry You sing with me this time Old Mother Hubbard She went to the cupboard To fetch her pool dog a bone When she got there The cupboard was bare And so the pool dog had none I'm an old woman. Yeah, you said it, Ian. <laughs> Don't listen to him. I'm the old woman who lived in the shoe. And she had so many children, she didn't know what to do. If you know it, sing along with me. Ready? Mm. There was an old woman who lived in a shoe. She had so many children, she didn't know what to do. She gave them some broth without any bread. Then whipped them all soundly and put them to bed. <laughs> I think we should do it again. Right, join in if you know it. I think we should all join in this time, yes? yes. There was an old woman who lived in a shoe. She had so many children, she didn't know what to do. She gave them some broth without any bread. Then put them all soundly and put them to bed. Look! The 
man's in the sky with another old woman. It's me. Nice outfit, day. There was an old woman tossed up in a basket seventeen times as high as the moon. She was going, I couldn't but ask it for in her hand. She carried a broom. Old woman, old woman, old woman, quoth I, where are you going to a hub so high? To clean the cobwebs of the sky. Shall I go with you? I buy and buy. Yeah, grab yourself a brush. We got to clean some clouds. I haven't got a broom. <laughs> No, 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 no! I'm not an old woman! Oh, we're never going to find my nursery rhyme! <laughs> oh, cheer up! Listen, there's lots more yet. Oh, but I must admit, I'm feeling really hungry. Oh, I think that's my tummy. Hang on. Let's see uh, what's in the cupboard. Hey, look at this! Oh, wow! It's a muffin, man! Dave, the factory's done it again. It thinks our friend might be the Muffin Man. Do you know the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man? Do you know the Muffin Man who lives down the lane? Yes, I know the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man. Yes, I know the Muffin Man who lives down the lane. Am I the Muffin Man? The Muffin Man. The Muffin Man, am I the Muffin Man who lives down Drury Lane? No, you're not the Muffin Man. The I'm muffin not. Man, the muffin uh. man. <laughs> You could be a doctor. A doctor? Yeah, just like Miss Polly had a dolly. I'll tell you all about it. Miss Polly had a dolly who was sick, sick, sick. So she called for the doctor to come quick, quick, quick. The doctor came with his bag and his hat. And he knocked on the door with a rat-a-tat-tat. He looked at the dolly and he shook his head. Said Miss Polly, put her straight to bed. He wrote on the paper for a pill, pill, pill. I'll be back in the morning for my bill, bill, bill. Oh, hey, I like the sound of that, actually. I can be a doctor. Yeah, you could even be Dr. Foster. Dr. Foster went to Gloucester in a shower of rain. He stepped in a puddle right up to his middle and he never went there again. No, he never went there. He never went there. He never went there again! Well, he stepped into a puddle up to his middle. Dear me, don't like the sound of that. You sing this time. Dr. Foster went to Gloucester in a shower of rain. He stepped in a puddle right up to his middle and he never went there again. No, he never went there. He never went there. He never went there again. No, 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 no. I'm not a doctor. I don't want to go into a puddle up to my middle. <laughs> Mm. Oh, do you know something? I do not know where that man could be from. I mean, he could be from France for all we know. France? Yeah, I mean, just like that song, Frere Jacques. You know that, Dave, don't you? Oh, yes, I do. I'm going to sing it right now. Frere Jacques, Frere Jacques, Dormez-vous, dormez-vous, Sonne la matina, Sonne la matina, ding dang dong, ding dang dong. Do you know what those words mean? No. Do you know? Well, it's very simple, really. Frere just means brother in French, and Jacques is the little boy's name. And in English, the words are very simple. They go like this. You sing it if you know. Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? Brother John, brother John, morning by Oh, 
didn't know that. Well, now you do. All right, then. Let's sing it in French again. No, Dave, let's sing it in English. Go on. Why not both languages? All right, you start. Frère Jacques, Frère Jacques, dormez are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? Sans la Jonna, sans la Jonna. Morning bells are ringing, morning bells are ringing. Ding dang dong, ding dang dong. Ah, uh, oh, mind you. I mean, we would know if he was from France, wouldn't we? Yeah, I guess. Maybe he's from somewhere completely different. <laughs> yeah, like London. Huh? Yeah! Try London! London? London? What a good idea! We can sing oranges and lemons! Oh, yes, yes, I, I know oranges and lemons. And I know oranges and lemons. Do you know oranges and lemons? Yeah! Sing along with us! Oranges and lemons, say the bells of St. Clement. You owe me five farthings, say the bells of St. Martin's. When will you pay me, say the bells of Old Bailey. When I grow rich, say the bells of Shoreditch. Ray, when will that be, say the bells of Stepney. I'm sure I don't know, says the great bell of Bow. Here comes a candle to light you to bed And here comes a chopper to chop off your head Oh, right, time for another song now This one's called Pot Goes the Weasel Do you all know it? Yeah. Right, you in it with us then Half a pound of tuppany rice Half a pound of treacle That's the way the money goes Pot Goes the Weasel Half a pound of tuppany rice Half a pound of treacle That's the way the money goes Pop goes the weasel Up and down the city road In and out of the eagle That's the way the money goes Pop goes the weasel Oh look, it's a pussycat Oh yeah, let me do this one Alright then Pussycat, pussycat, where have you been? I've been up to London to visit the Ooh. Queen. Was she in? Pussycat, pussycat, what did you there? I frightened the little mouse under her chair. Oh, Ooh. I bet that was scary. No, mm, it was. Let's sing it again. Pussycat, pussycat, where have you been? I've been up to London to visit the Queen. Lovely. Pussycat, pussycat, what did you there? I frightened a little mouse under her chair. <laughs> ah, that was great, Sally. <laughs> so, are you from London? Uh, not London, no, I don't think so, but maybe a big city somewhere. And that stuff about the Queen, that seemed to ring a bell. <laughs> are you a king? Oh, maybe. Oh, oh, this <laughs> I know, I know, I've got it. You're old King Cole. Old King Cole. Oh, now let me tell you about old King Cole. <clears throat> old King Cole was a very old soul. And a very old soul was he. <laughs> Oh, oh. He called for his pipe. Oh, where's my pipe? And he called for his bowl. And where's my bowl? And he called for his fiddlers. Three. And where are those three fiddlers? Now, every fiddler had a very high fiddle. <laughs> very nice. And a very fine fiddle had a G. Yes, old King Cole was a very old soul. <laughs> and a very old soul was he. <laughs> Well, that all sounds right to me, and uh, you know what they say, if the crowd fits, wear it. Here we go, Old King Cole. Old King Cole was a merry old soul, and a merry old soul was he. He called for his pipe, and he called for his bowl, and he called for his fiddler's three. Now every fiddler had a very fine fiddle, and a very fine fiddle had he. Yes, Old King Cole was a merry old soul, and a merry old soul was he. Well, you know, I don't think I'm a king, but these clothes feel just right. Are you a member of royalty? A chance. Royalty? <laughs> I know! What? You're the Grand Old Duke of York! Is this you? Are you the Grand Old Duke of York? Give it here! Let me try it on! The Grand Old Duke of York! 